All right, we're, uh, it's day three, June 27th. We're up in Roseville, Illinois. We've traveled further north. This is as north as we're gonna get. Unfortunately, we just don't have the time to do everything we wanna do. We'll, we'll come back through the northern part of Illinois at the end of the tour, but I'm here with Ed Thompson, good friend and client. Ed, thank you for yeah, spending you, some Mo. time. Yeah. Nice to see you again. And uh, Ed it ha has had some issues in this area. Ed, explain what's happened here with your corn. Looks like it's hooked or an elbow. Yes. Well, this corn was planted April 15th, and, and actually we had a r wonderful crop growing, and then we, like a lot of other areas, turned dry. Right. And, and then, uh, fortunately, a uh, storm came through and brought right here about an inch and a half of rain, but also 60 to 70 mile an hour winds. And in the area that I've seen from Monmouth to Roseville over towards Aquaca, uh, almost every corn was, every field was flat. Right. And, it, and the miracle of Mother Nature has hooked it back up uh, to where it came off the ground and it didn't seem to break much, uh, but some of it's hooked so bad that it's maybe a foot and a half into the middle of the next row right. and then hooked up. It's, am so, it's amazing how it's come back the way it has. Uh, yeah, because if you would have seen it, yeah. it was all Before and after, do you have any before pictures? Uh, I, I on my old phone, but okay. I got different. All phone. right, no but problem. But the uh, <laughs> so, uh, but we uh, in this area we got from south of the waste not much rain up to maybe four to five inches in the northern part of county right. or in the Mercer right. County. Uh, but it'll be uh, very interesting where it goes from here, especially probably with the harvest, trying to harvest this type of sure. crop with this type sure. of injury to it. Now you were complaining about some rolling corn. You still have that or? Well, we were, before we got this rain, even on the, you know, some of the best soil in the world that's here, uh, was rolling real hard, protecting itself because we not only got dry in right. about a month's period of time, uh, we were very warm right. for right. the month of June. Right. So. But the temperatures at night have been helping. Uh, they've been cool. Uh, I don't see a threat here the next couple of weeks. This looks good despite your, your little problem with right. the wind. Well, I think the corn that was planted, you know, around mid-April, uh, we probably had one of our best crops going. Yep. Uh, but then we hit a real dry spell and then right. we've had this wind come through. Right, right. So, um, but hopefully it'll still be decent. You know, there's a big debate about also did we switch a lot of corn acres to bean acres because of the rise in bean prices. You're telling me that that hasn't happened around here. Well, what little bit I know, I don't think there was much of that happened in yeah. this area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think people planted, for the most part, whatever they had planned on. Yeah. yeah. No, the crops look good up here. I mean, we're having some odd issue, uh, but it's healthy. It's, it's nice and lush and green, and this is probably a few days away from tasseling, despite... Yes, it's... Your it's issues close, there, yes. yeah. So yeah, it sounds like um, we might have pretty good weather for this. I mean, if you were to pollination. if you were to rank this against your five-year average between one and ten, what do you think? Oh, well, you're asking tough questions now. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, if it hadn't happened and we just got the rain, we probably were on, you know, still going to have one of our better crops. Right. Uh, even though the rain we got was a band-aid. You know, at least we got sure, it, sure. but we're going to need some more. Yeah, it's critical what happens next two, three weeks, but you guys are, are looking pretty good. You're probably on pace for a record crop this year. We'll see. Uh, probably were. I, I don't know that we are now. Yeah. The yeah. I, I think probably the top ends even out of this crop here, because probably this will cause more yield loss one way or another than you think sure and i think part of it might even just be in the harvest of it because right. actually i think it may become kind of a nightmare when we go to harvest right. especially if your stock quality declines also sure but you've already got it where it's not a straight row anymore and then if we get any stock rot or anything like that going right. on uh we might be out here for months trying to get this in yep. so yep. but time will tell it so, sure will thank yeah. you for your time great to see you again nice to see you yeah.